Hey, Ileana Soul Dragon. We're back with another part of Let's Play Star Stable. So we're right back here with Rainia to continue with um, the Dundle quest. Good, you came back. I knew I could trust you. So, since you're new to Dundle, I thought we could start by asking around town to see what others have to say about the quarantine. With you as a fresh pair of ears, maybe we'll learn something new. Mind if we ride double? Mama, Mama will be less likely to notice I'm gone if Dellinger's still in a stable. Ooh, her leg. She is not sitting right. Let's talk right here first. I keep texting my boyfriend in New York City about the quarantine, but he says there's nothing in the news about a medical emergency in Dundle. That's kind of weird, don't you think? It must be a military cover-up. Or aliens. Whatever's going on, I hope it blows over soon so I can see my bo bow again. That is not boo, that is bow. That is French, and it is pronounced bow. Screw everyone that says otherwise. <laughs> The quarantine? I heard them say there's something in the water. Like a virus? Or maybe radioactive waste. Whatever it is, I want no part of it. I'm sticking to bottled water like nature intended. No, I don't feel sick. But you've heard about the wolves, right? Dr. Oplitz says that the wolves are more susceptible to the outbreak and that if we don't follow the guidelines, we'll end up crazy too. You don't think this might have something to do with the werewolves? Uh, I'm kidding. Who would believe in... Seriously, though. I just hope this clears up before the full moon. For reasons. Hmm, a lot of crazy theories going around. I know who else we should talk to. Councilman Skull. Ride us there and leave the talking to me. I kind of wish we had Rainia's hairstyle in the game. I don't think we do. Let's go up here. Yes? What do you want? I'm a busy man. I've never seen you before. What are you doing in Dundle? How did you get past the quarantine? This is most improper. Relax, Councilman's goal. Ileana is my friend. You can trust her. Rainia Vettinger. Of course she would be involved. Dr. Opla told me about your little excursion. This quarantine is no laughing matter. You could have spread the infection. About that, Councilman, have you actually seen anyone with symptoms? What kind of sickness is it? Look, I'm not a scientist. I've read the report from Dr. Opla and his team about... In his team at Geo Emergency Doctors, and it made things crystal clear. Dondo's water supply is a toxic mess. But there's nothing to worry about. His team is fixing everything. They're even paying us in the process. Wait, they're paying you to clean up the spring? That can't be right. Rainia, Rainia, take it from me as a grown up. When someone throws your town a pile of money, it's best not to ask too many questions. Um, that is like the exact opposite. Okay. I don't care what Councilman School says, when something doesn't seem right, you have to ask questions. If we're going to find out the truth, we should go to the source. The spring itself. Mm, this won't work with us riding double. Our route will take us off the roads, and I don't know if I can describe the directions in a way you'd be able to understand. I navigate by sound, you see, and the feel of Dellinger moving over the terrain. I need my eyes to lead you. That's a whistle I can't whistle except through my teeth, and it's a very high-pitched, ba barely audible sound. <laughs> well, that, that's literally my whistle. It's good to see you too, boy. Ready for an adventure? Come on, Eliana, follow me. Over here.
I agree. And over here. South Mistfall Forest. We're close now. We should go the rest of the way on foot so that we don't tip them off. Shh, do you hear that? Machinery of some kind, right? I've heard it by the spring before. I didn't dare get closer because it's so loud. I can't hear if there's anyone else about. But with you as lookout, it should be okay. Can you find a place for us to hide? through here. Ah, shoot. Let me go bring, um, shade over here. What a great hiding spot. I mean, you picked it and I trust you, so it must be great. I hear voices. If there's something illegal going on here, we need evidence con to convince the adults in town. But what? Oh, my phone has a camera. Here, I have many talents, but I can't say photography is one of them. You should take it. Find a good spot to record from and do your thing. I'm counting on you. Ba -da -ba -da. Man, this is hard work. I need to hydrate. Do you have a bottle I can borrow? I left mine at back at the camp. Just take a drink from the spring, idiot. It's the same stuff. Yeah, but boss said it. In town. Yeah, we have to keep up the act. Not like anyone's watching us out here. Ugh, yeah. That's some quality H2O. Those cheats! Huh? Is someone there? Cheep! Cheep, cheep. You idiot, it's just a bird. Come on, let's get this tanker to the drop spot. Please tell me you recorded that. Oh, okay. We know the water's not dangerous, but why would they lie about that? We should get back to the horses and follow that tanker truck to find out. Huh? What just happened? Be careful. Oh, or get too close. Okay. Let's follow that car. Come on, Rainia. Keep up. You're the one losing them. Okay, what's up? Let's go and face Rainia again. They're stopping. What are they doing now? Never mind, you can tell me later. Right now, it's more important we get our evidence. Take my camera again and record anything that looks suspicious. Where's that guy? We've got a schedule to keep. Here he comes. Yo, 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 let that go water flow, bro. You've been spending too much time on marketing. Hey, it's working. Go water is flying off the shelves. Those poor saps in Dundle 
don't never knew they were sitting on liquid gold. Those thieves. What was that? Uh, tweet, tweet, tweet. Birds again? Does a robin go tweet, tweet? An American robin, sure. But not the European variety we have we have here in more Yorick. It's more of a twee woo wee. That's no robin. It's that medicine blind girl and her horse crazy friend boss told us about. Stop them. They're onto us. Run. Well, looks like we're running. Just follow the arrows. Where? Oops. No, no, no. I don't want to hit that rock. Ah! Or not. Really? How am I getting stuck on a root? Oh my gosh. Man, they have horses. Why don't we have horses? It's not far. You idiot, we have a truck. But even if you love a truck, they'll never love you back. There's something about the bomb between a horse and its rider. Shut up. Are we still chasing them? Forget it. A couple teenagers, one of whom is blind? Who's gonna take their word over ours? Let him go. Hm. <sighs> that was close. Word, our word versus theirs, huh? You have video, right? What did you see? Tell me everything. You explain what you saw at the tanker trucks. So I was right. Dr. Oplet has been lying to us about the water. It's all a hoax. But if the water is safe, then what's making the wolves go crazy? Okay, I know the wolves here in Mistfall have, haven't been quite as harmless as I promised, but it isn't their fault. It can't be. We have to at least try to help them. You're with me on this, right? I know where the Paxton is. If you can get close to- If you could be my extra eyes one more time, Dellinger and I can lead us there, and you can search for clues. We'll be extra careful. Trust me. Towards the wolf den. Over here, Bramble Gorge. And jump over the crazy big mushroom. The den is just ahead. I don't hear any wolves moving about. They must be sleeping. I didn't check what time I recorded. Man. Searching. Okay, it was just. Was it after Fur Grove? Hmm. The Wolf's Den. Um. It was about the Fur Grove Championship. That couldn't have been. Championship schedule, Fur Grove. So, may, I think this is around 20 minutes. Nothing.
Nothing, huh? Do you hear that? Someone's coming. Quick, find us a place to hide. We need to hide. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Lunchtime. Arr? <laughs> Stupid mutts. Enjoy your nasty meat. Whoa there, fellas. Plenty for everyone. Nope, they start growling. Ah! Someone's running. Keep running, creep. <laughs> I hope that wolf chases him all the way out of Mistfall. So I'm right for hurting those poor these poor furry friends. Whatever that man is feeding the wolves must be behind their change in behavior. You know, that Dr. Irene seems to really care about the wolves. Maybe if we take take a sample of the tainted meat back to the dock, she could figure out a way to help them. Would you mind looking? Just keep your distance from the wolves. Got one. Got two. Got three. Ugh, I can smell it from here. There's definitely something wrong with that meat. They're stealing our water and poisoning wolves? For a charity calling themselves Geo and Emergency Doctors, they don't sound very charitable. Let's get the sample of tainted meat back to Dr. Irene. She's the only doctor I trust right now. Okay, right back to Dr. Irene. Okay, back to Dundal. Oh my gosh, have you seen the spoiler video? Have, I'm talking like you're actually here. Have you all seen the spoiler videos for the new um, Wild Woods area, which are roughly here? They are so pretty. Like, they. Star Stable has really done their job with. Um, like, revamping that whole area. Because just the. Um, what am I trying to say? The work from, I think it's been maybe two months. It's incredible. Eliana? Rania? What's wrong? You haven't been stirring up trouble again, have you? I'm glad you're both here. There's someone who's been looking for you. Rania Vettinger? We're pretty grounded, don't you understand? Mama, you won't believe what Ileana, Ileana and I found out. Dr. Oplet and his people aren't treating the spring, they're draining it. And the wolves, they're not sick from the spring. Those people are poisoning them. Dr. Irene, that sample we brought you is from the wolves' den. If it's what they've been feeding the wolves to make them sick, maybe you can... You took it from where? Rania, it's bad enough you speak... It's bad enough you sneaking off behind my back. But you're risking your life chasing those dangerous wolves? Maybe you get in... Maybe giving you the freedom to go riding on your own with Dellinger wasn't such a good idea. Maybe I should have set, kept you closer to home, where it's safe. Did you hear nothing I said, Mama? They're taking our water. Dundle's pride. You can stay home and enjoy your safety, but I'm going to do something about this. And she runs off. Rhea, wait! I'm sorry. I, I trust you. When will I ever learn? My stubborn, beautiful little girl. Believe it or not, I used to be as strong-willed and righteous as her. People used to tease me about it, but my mother told me not to be ashamed of caring. She said that spirit, the Vettinger grit, came from our Viking heritage. Sigri Vettinger, she used to tell me. You're descended from shield maidens. That always made my heart feel bigger. Now my Rainia is going to quite the shield maiden herself. Y knowing Rainia, she's on her way to confront Dr. Oppler right now. You'll watch over her, won't you? I need to see if shield maiden was an actual thing. 
Because I've heard it, but I've never looked it up before. Da -da -da -da. Jump over the pumpkins. Shield Maiden. A shield maiden was a female warrior from Scandinavian folklore and mythology. Historians disagree about whether they existed or not. Shield maidens are often mentioned in sagas such as, I can't pronounce that, they also appear in stories of other Germanic peoples such as the Goth, the Cimbri, Cimbri and Marcomanni. And I took the wrong turn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So they're pretty much the female warriors of the Vikings. But there is no historical confirmation that they actually existed. Such, like, archaeological evidence, at least. So, they don't know if it was truly, um, real, but they are in sagas, so, hmm, interesting. I love history. Eliana, I knew I could trust you. You're just in time, Eliana. I was about to tell this creep that we're onto a scheme. You're the one who saw it all. Maybe you should tell him. Stealing water, poisoning wolves, these are some serious charges. So you claim to have seen some things. Whatever, no one's going to take your word over that of a prominent humanitarian doctor like myself. You ain't no humanitarian. Oh yeah? Well, we have it all on video. Isn't that right, Ileana? Mm-hmm. Let me see that. What? This is... Ugh. Those idiots! I told them to up security. What do you want? Money? I can make sure that you and your mom never heard for cash again. Justice. You give back our water. <laughs> Not gonna happen. We had a deal with your councilman. That water is legally ours. Men, grab her. I need that phone. Eh -oh. Let go of me. Ileana, help. I need to find a way to free Rainia. Those hornet's nests could do the trick. And there's a pretty good stick for po poking them. Do I need to drag it? Yes, I do. I failed this the first few times I tried it. Mm. Um, 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 next. Um, go. Go! Uh-oh. Where am I? Over here. Quick thinking, Ileana. We need to get the councilman's skull. Mind if we ride double? Dellinger, go find Mama. Uh oh, someone's in trouble. Attention to all GED personnel. This is Dr. Opplet. We have a security situation. Stop those girls. Hmm. Come on, Shade. Okay, or not. Really? Really? Okay, restarting. I always do that. I- 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 what? I literally just said start over. Okay. And turn, turn, over here towards Jorvik Rangers, up here. Nope, nope, nope. Ugh, I hate hornets. She's not sitting right on that. Hmm. 
Hurry, it sounds like a car is following us. Yup. I don't hear them chasing us anymore. We did it. Councilman's goal needs to know the truth. Let's tell him everything. Oh, we have a new reputation with Dundle. It's friendly. Let's go to the councilman. Come on. Nope, come on. And over here. You again, Ileana was it? And Rainia? What an Ideen's name is going on here? back up a bit. Don't tell me you're spreading lies about good Dr. Opley again. He and the G Geo Emergency Doctors have been very generous to this town. So he still doesn't trust us. Show him the video, Ileana. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Hmm, oh my. Well then, this changes things, doesn't it? I can explain everything. It's not my fault. Really, it's not. Kinda sounds like it is. I can't wait to hear this. Mama! Yes, ahem. Well, you see, Dundas has been facing a budget deficit for years now. Bad economy, not a lot of tourism. You know how it is running a village. So when Go Energy Drinks came to me offering to buy out our water rights, I had no choice. It was the only way to keep our town afloat. Only way my butt. Don't you think we haven't noticed all the working vacations you take on the town's dime, Skull? They were an investment in the town's future. That doesn't explain the quarantine or the wolves. I never knew about the wolves. I would never have signed up for that. And quarantine was only a temporary ruse to make sure no one got worked up about the sh business with the spring. As your daughter has demonstrated, people can let their emotions get in the way of making hard choices. My daughter is the only one showing any sense in this town. I should have trusted her from the start. Well, the jig is up now. Tell those water thieves to pack up and go home. We're not going anywhere. It's Mrs. Drake. Ugh, I hate this lady. We have a contract. I should have known you were involved in this, Ileana. Always a thorn in our side. Who are you? What happened to Dr. Oplett? Dr. Oplett's employment was terminated moments ago. Global energy domination does not condone his methods. However, that does not change our deal with Dundal. The water rights to your string belong to GED. GED? But our deal is with Go Energy Drinks. Oh, GED. Very clever. So we're supposed to get by without our water supply then? Hm? Maybe you should have elected someone with brains to ask those sort of questions before you signed the contract. <laughs> Contrary to what some people would have you believe, GED is a very reasonable company. We'd be more than happy to lease you access to the spring at a reasonable rate. Now see here, I've read that contract and it said something about building a pool for the community. Oh, you must mean the pool of the country club and golf course you sold us the land rights for. As per the contract, you are allowed doctor access to Mr. Skull, but not the riffraff of the community. I must have skinned the small print. Oh my gosh. You wanted to help your community? This will do so. Think of all the wonderful jobs. Caddies, valets, towel attendants. As soon as we cut down all those trees, the jobs will come rolling in. This can't be illegal. We'll find a way to stop them. Right, Mama? Of course we will, Rainia. Of course we will. Mm. I don't like Mrs. Drake. I really, really don't. Not just our spring, but our forest, too? This is terrible. When things seem at their most hopeless, I find that it helps to, helps to find some place where th you can make a difference. Even if we can't do anything about the spring, we can still help the wolves. 
Let's go check with Dr. Irene to see if she made any progress in looking for a cure. A cure for what's ailing the wolves. As a matter of fact, I think I might have a solution. I examined the meat that those wolves have been eating, and you'll never guess what toxin I found. Wolfsbane. I know, it's almost two on the nose. It so happens that there's an herbal rem remedy that grows here on Norvik. Piperalis Eurvigius, mm, also known as Eurvinian ginger. You can recognize it by the kidney-shaped leaves and small purple flowers. If you're bringing some Eurvinian ginger from the nearby wolves, I sp think that's supposed to be woods, I can get to work on a remedy right away. Is there a remedy for Wolfsbane? I think there is. Wolfsbane isn't too toxic to humans, at least. I mean, it's toxic, of course, but it's still used in small amounts for some medications. Oh my gosh. Stop running into things. Here. And it's right there. Oh my gosh, I can't see a thing. And right here. Oh, that's it. All I need. This is the stuff, all right. You have a good eye. Just let me mix that with some untainted meat here. There you have it. One remedy for wolves suffering from wolfsbane poisoning. I would let's. I would say let someone else take care of delivering the cure. But knowing you two, you just make your own batch to dispense it yourselves. So let me say, keep your distance and don't go getting mauled. I'm a veterinarian, not a miracle worker. Thanks, Doc. I knew we could count on you. Come on, Eliana. Let's ride back to the wolf's den. Cool. Back to the wolves. You need to leave. Sometimes it's hard. I'm mean, not hard, but annoying to get past here. Because it's just so far. Oh, there. <laughs> Whoa, Eliana, we'd better stop here and go the rest of the way on foot. Don't want to startle the wolves with our horses. The wolves are just ahead. Can you see them? I hope they're hungry. For the meat doc prepared, I mean, not for us. You should probably handle the feeding yourself. I just slow us down in the event something goes wrong. See if you can get close to the wolves, but not too close, and lay out the meat real nice. You know, like a meaty picnic. Here and here. Why is my foot cramping? Thank goodness it's you. I could hear the wolves munching, and I was hoping it was the remedy they were gnawing on and not you. You know, I think the remedy is working. Working. The wolves' breathing sounds healthier already. It feels so good to be making a positive difference again. That's why you should never let one setback stop you from caring. 
Trust and hope. That's what I always say. How about we ride right back to the town and tell Doc Irene the good news? Fun. Over here. Still in one piece, I see. So the wolves took their medicine? Time will tell if the herbal remedy will do the trick, but as long as no one else slips their our furry friend's wolfbane again, I think they'll be okay. Your mother told me the news about the spring. I'm so sorry. I've only been here a couple days, but already Dundal feels like home. To think that GED is planning to bulldoze over this natural beauty. It's awful, isn't it? it? Makes me so mad that there's nothing we can do, even after we filmed them in the act. Oh, right, the video. Could I take a look? Of course. Here you go. That's awful. Oh my. Oh, hold on now. Go water? Where have I heard that before? Yo, yo, yo. Let that go water flow, bro. Uh, Doc, are you alright? Oh, sorry. It's from the commercial. You haven't heard of it? That famous guy sings it. What's his name? T-Rex or something? Raptor? Clever girl. That's the one. His face is plastered all over Yorick City. Even more than usual, I mean. To promote a new line of mineral water. If I was Raptor, I would hate to have my brand tarnished by associating with this horrible mess. So all we have to do is get this footage to Raptor. Doc, you're a genius. Going straight to the spokesperson. It's not a bad plan. So you want to win Raptor over to your cause. There's only one little problem. Celebrities like Raptor are impossible to reach. You must have an army of bodyguards that probably never make the appearances in public. No, you'd never get to him. He's untouchable. Uh, I think he hangs out at the mall in Norvik. He does? Like, pretty much every week. One extra after a super fan girl here <laughs> grew out of that phase a long time ago. Oh, I see. In that case, go give him an earful, you two. This is it, Ileana. This is our chance to save the spring. There's a bus on the edge of town that'll take us to Yorvik City. I'll meet you there. Let's go. And stop. The bus should be here any minute now. Yorvik City, here we come. Comforting smells of air freshener and stale corn dogs. Ah, Yorvik City Mall, how I've missed you. It's awfully quiet, don't you think? Maybe Raptor isn't showing up today. Wait, here's something. Let's get closer. Hello? Psst, where do we? Yorvik City, Mr. Raptor, you're here every week. Hello, Yorvik City is a Raptor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't. I can't! Oh my gosh! Perhaps the sponsorship agreement was a big mistake. Wait for it. Check it. Hey yo, feel that flow. Yabba 
D do drinking H2O, dribble, D do sloshing it. Oh my gosh. Go. Yeah, sure. Raptor. Raptor, we love you. Pop it open, let it flow. It's a balanced breakfast. Oh my gosh. Good for you, good for me. Water gives you energy. In a boat you row, row, row. When it's cold, it turns to snow. It makes the planties grow, grow, grow. Water, water, water. Raptor drinks, go water. Raptor rakes in all the dough. Trust in Raptor, cause he know. Let that go water flow. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. who wants a free bottle? Do you hear that? And that is the sound of the money spigot loosening up. Oh my gosh, I hated reading that. <laughs> what you need? I got H2O to throw. Autograph? Raptor loves his fans, you know. Hi, Mr. Raptor, sir. I used to be your biggest fan. Used to? Whoa, too school. Cool for school, yo. Speaking truthfully, Dota was raptive and derivative. But hey, your early work, like, hey, yo, was so emotionally raw. It really moved me, you know? Sizzle, though. Gotta work on your compliments. Anyway, sir, it's. Is it it? It is that emotional honesty that I was hope that. Oh my gosh. It is that emotional honesty that I hope we can appeal to today. Because that water you're promoting is drawn from a spring of suffering. Spring of what now? It could be easier if you just watched the video. Show him, Eliana. Nice camera work. Much dogma. This be all? Aw. Is it a wolfy puppy, whoopie? What's the do feeding? Not cool. Not cool. Raptor wants nothing to do with puppy poisoners. You've opened my eyes to the GED lies. Raptor can't let Raptor's brand sink with the ship. Loose lips gonna bust out. The remix. Oh, level 17. Not now, not now. Raptor's got rhymes bursting out of his brain. Ileana, you gotta move some your truth and get out there and warm up the crowd. These beats are about to drop. Oh my gosh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> no water, no water, no water. This is Raptor coming to you live from York City Mall with the brand new rhymes you've got to hear. What's going on? No one authorized this. A new song? It isn't market tested. Go energy drinks. Making people think their water is clear. Nuh-uh. They're insincere and wolves dressed up like sheep. Hoping you won't peep as they poison Mistfall, and that's not all. This is a disaster. Yes, ma'am. Very off-brand. He's practically articulate. Wolves, real ones are misunderstood, but GED puts poison in their food. Making them ill while feeding us a poison pill of lies. Lies to wash down with water that they stole. Dr. Oplet fired, should be on parole. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. They'd have you think, unless you pay their CEO your dime, it's a crime. Lawyer up, Miss Drake. Our contract is about to break. You better hope your attorney is as nimble as your freestyle skills, Mr. Raptor. GEDs do not take betrayal lightly. Everyone's booing. I want to thank two brave girls for showing me the truth. I could not see, and Miss Rainia here has opened my eyes. You got something you want to tell the crowd? Trust your heart? Major trust. Three cheers for Ileana. She's got that Yorvik glow. Now how about we bring that in the lights and raise the roof for Raptor's triple platinum and number one hit single for 50 weeks running. Yorvik City. This one goes out to all the puppies out there. Aww. Who let the wolves in? Look how cute. Okay, I love dogs. <laughs> You know what? Raptor's actually pretty cool. Huh. It sounds like this party's gonna keep them over a while. Let me know when you're ready and you can slip out together. Thank gosh. Oh man, I've gotta end this episode. Eh, I'll get on shade first. Ah, the peace and quiet of Mistfall. It's great to be home. I hear trucks. What's going on? Oh, someone's leaving.
Perry and Evan, huh? We're really shutting down just like that? We just finished setting up with the pump. Word came straight from the top. Miss Mrs. D said the feature of Go Water is on thin ice. The whole missile operation is on hold. In that case, do you mind if I leave work early? I hear Raptor's throwing a surprise show in Norfolk City. You know what? I'm in. If we hurry, we might still catch Dota. Oh my gosh, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> They're leaving. We we actually did it. Didn't I say you could trust me? And she whistles for Dellinger. I missed you too, Dellinger. I never felt I never feel bad that I won't get to drive. Even if I could drive drive a car, why would I when I could ride a horse like Dellinger? Oh, Mrs. Drake was updated. Uh, in recognition of Mrs. Drake's role in helping GED grow from a regional energy com company to a global juggernaut, the board expanded her responsibilities, letting her lead a new lifestyle beverage company called Go Energy Drinks. After the PR disaster that happened when Rainy and I got involved, the initiative was shuttered. As far as Miss Drake is concerned, bringing up Go Water, Wolves. Oh, bringing up Go Water, Wolves, or Raptor is a terminable offense. Let's go check in with Mama and the Doc. I can't wait to tell them the good news. Okay. Let's ride back. What? Well, if it isn't my stubborn, reckless, and dangerously curious daughter. Rainia, no mother has ever been as proud of her daughter as I am now. Mama, welcome home, my little shield maiden. to admit, I'm a little sad our adventure is coming to an end. I have a feeling that the two of us will share more adventures one day. What do you say, Ileana? If I asked you to jump into the fire again, will you trust me? It's gonna take a lot of hard work to get Dundal back to where it ought to be after the mess Councilman Skull got us into. About that, I was doing some digging, and it's not too late to file a candidacy, candidacy for the next election. Councilman Sigri, Councilwoman Sigri has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Me? A councilwoman? Us Farringers are boat builders, not leaders. The town legend says different. As do your daughter's brave deeds. Do it, Mama. This will be the first election I get to vote in. It would make me so proud to cast my vote for you, and not just because you're family. I'll think about it, Rainia. And you, Dr. Irene, still thinking about sitting up shop here? Well, the town does need a vet. I was talking to the Jorvik Rangers, and they mentioned they could use help sending to injured wildlife, too. That just leaves you, Ileana. What's your plan? Mama, give her a break. She's just riding through. Right, Ileana? Mm-hmm. Thanks for everything you've done for us. It's not much, but I want you to keep this to remember our adventure by. We'll keep in touch. Or, you'll keep in touch, won't you? It's okay. I trust you. Oh, I unlocked the trailer to Dungle. Okay, so I think all three of them have been updated. Oh no, just um these two. Arrhenia's suspicions were right. The so-called health crisis in Mistfall was actually a scheme by GED to gain access to the area's famous spring water. Together, we gathered evidence of GED's crimes and exposed them to the world at Raptor Concert in York City. It was amazing. Arrhenia showed me that you don't have to be a soul rider to be a hero. Thanks to Dr. Irene, we were able to save Miss Paul's wolves from poisoning at the hands of GED goons. With life returning to normal in Miss Paul, the doc realized she found a place where, but perhaps the person with whom, she wanted to spend the rest of her life. Good for her, and great news for Dundal. Every town deserves a vet as passionate as Dr. Irene. Oh, they don't say it yet, do they? 
No, they don't. Okay. So, that is it for today. Um, I love the Mistfall quest. This is probably my favorite quest line in the entire game. I don't know why. I just... It is. <laughs> um, I will be back tomorrow, and I hope you'll be here to watch it. Thanks for watching. Bye!